So now let's use Desmos to solve a radical equation. Let's say I want to look at the equation, the cube root of 2x minus 1 equals 5. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type one side of them in as y. Let's call it y1. And we're going to call that the cube root of 2x minus 1. So again, I need my keypad. Go to functions, type in my key, my um, root, my nth root. And then I'm going to put the cube up there. And then I'll type in 2x minus 1 into there. Then I need to do my other side of the equation. Remember, this was equal. This was q root of 2x minus 1 equals 5. So I need y equals 5. Um, I can't call this y1 or y2. I just need to call it y equals 5. That's how Desmos knows that that is, in fact, a horizontal line. So we've got y equals 5 in here. There's my horizontal line. And one thing I'm going to notice is they don't seem to be crossing each other. So what it probably means is, is that I think this graph just keeps going up. I just can't see where they cross. So what I need to do is I need to change my graph settings. I need to click on that little wrench. I need to change my x values. I don't need to change my y's because I see all my y's here, but I don't see enough of my x's. So maybe I'll change my x to, let's say, 20. But now I'm not seeing them intersect, but I do notice they're getting closer. So maybe I'll change that to 50. It's really close. They seem to really be close to hitting. Um, I'm going to go really bold here and just make them 100. And then I can see that they do, in fact, intersect. So here I can find my intersections right there. And now I know what the solution is. That means when y is 5, the x value is 63. So the solution to this is x equals 63. If I want to solve another one, let's try another equation. Let's try 41. So y2 equals 41 plus 5 times the square root. Now remember, square root you can just get from the keypad itself. Square root of 2x minus 4. And I'm not seeing anything because it's starting way up here at 41. So again, I'm going to go ahead and change my graph settings. I'm going to go ahead and change my y's. Now I'm not seeing my y's. So I'm going to make this y go all the way up maybe to 100, because I need to be above 41. So I'm going to get that to be above 41. And there's my, my value there. Now, the other one I need is I need y equal to 11, because I'm going to have this one is 41 plus 5 times 2x minus 4 is equal to 11. So I'm going to have y equals 11 as the other graph I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of this y equals 5, because it's causing a little bit of issue with that. I'm going to try this again to y equals 11. Hmm. Oh, it is there. Sorry, I just couldn't see it. So I had to zoom out a little bit because I didn't have enough values there. Um, if I go back, I can change my y to going from, let's say, um, minus 10 to, let's say, we don't need all the up to 100. Let's go to 50 or 60. What I notice here is I notice these graphs don't intersect. This one starts here and goes up, and here's down here. If you don't want to see this one, by the way, you can turn it off by just clicking on the little red next to it, and it'll turn it off. Now we can see these two, they never intersect. So therefore, there is no solution to these two.